This is Tom Dupuy with Online Media Masters, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Yoast SEO plugin to verify and configure your WordPress site with Google Webmaster Tools. So as, just go into your WordPress dashboard and you'll see the SEO tab on the left, and you click the General option, and you'll see the Webmaster Tools tab right here. So I'll show you how to do Google Webmaster Tools, which is the most important, but you also want to do Alexa, Bing, and Yandex, which is Russia's largest search engine. So for now, just to go to Google Webmaster Tools. And I'm just going to do one for a client of mine, Renee Schuler. Click Add Site and paste the URL right here. So I've already verified her website, but you're going to come to the verification process. And there's multiple ways to verify your site. And for Yoast, you want to do the HTML, the HTML tag option. So you're going to see this long um, line right here. And just copy the whole thing and paste it into the Google Webmaster field but you want to only keep everything between the quotations. So we can delete everything after that quotation and before this quotation. And the same thing applies with Alexa, Bing, and Yandex. You're basically going to get this, a same type of code and then just delete everything in those quotations. So you can save changes in Yoast. And then go back to Google Webmaster Tools and click Verify. And you should come to this screen. So since I just configured Google Webmaster Tools, I'm not going to have any data on my site. So I'll just go to another, another site so you can see the type of data you get. Um, there's a few things you want to do right after you set up Google Webmaster Tools. The first thing is click this gearbox and go to Site Settings. And you want to set your preferred domain name. So you can include the www or non-www. <clears throat> this doesn't really affect SEO at all. It's just a preference of how you want your domain name to read. Just make sure that whichever one you choose is consistent with the one you have in WordPress. And you want to go to um, settings right here in general and you can you can see the domain names right here so you want these to be consistent with whatever you set here <clears throat> the second thing you want to do is um, submit your sitemap so Yoast automatically generates a sitemap for you if you click the SEO tab and click XML sitemaps and click the sitemap button. So all you want to do is copy this part of the URL right here, sitemap underline index.xml. Then go back to Google Webmaster Tools and click crawl sitemaps, add a test sitemap, and then paste the URL right here. I'm not going to do it because I think I'm under, yeah, I'm under Renee Schuler, but I have culture fit. But you just want to paste your sitemap URL right there. And then go ahead and test it. And when you're done, it's going to say it's OK, no errors found. Um, and then after that, then you want to click the Add Test Sitemap button again, and then actually submit it right here. So once you're done with that, go ahead and click this gear box, this gear box again, and just get an idea of the different um, settings that are right here. Like these are their verification deals uh, details. You can add users to your site. You can integrate your Google Webmaster Tools with your Google Analytics, which I would definitely do. And if you want to change your domain name, you can also inform Google about that. So um, there's one more, 
or there's a couple more things I want to go over. If you um, hit search traffic and go to international targeting, if you're targeting a specific country, you can hit this tab right here and target users in the United States or any country. But if you're doing international SEO or you're just targeting, you know, internationally, then you can leave that unchecked. Other than that, um, the mess the dashboards here, Google will send you uh, important details about your website, like whether um, you have mobile issues with your site, security issues, if you've received a Google penalty. Uh, so they will send you key details about your site to make sure everything is okay. But you can also use their tabs to check, like uh, structured data, data highlighter. Um, you can use HTML improvements is really helpful. So this will tell you if you have um, duplicate meta descriptions or title tags. <clears throat> they didn't detect any here, but if you do, uh, you will see if your meta descriptions are too short or too long. And I would definitely go through the HTML improvements to see what you can fix. I'll go over a couple more. Search analytics is very helpful. You can see that there. Here's your queries, your keywords. Uh, you can see links to your website. You can see the type of internal links that you're using on your website. You can see if you've had any manual actions against your site or mobile usability issues. And then you can also see things like you know, the indexing status or keywords you're using in your content. Um, so I would just go through these and get an idea of the types of things that Google Webmaster Tools have to offer because it is very helpful. And that's really it. Other than that, I wish you the best luck with your SEO, and I hope you found this video tutorial helpful.